Hello, everybody. Yeah, there. I am your host, uh, Michael Manning. I'm joined today by. I'm Steve. It's Steve. Uh, and today, for everybody at home, back to another ECC stream. We are here with the first match of League of Legends Division A. Uh, between Post University and Akron Esports. As you can see here on the round one draft, we are getting right to it. Both teams already knocking out the initial bans. Going right into first picks. Post immediately locking in that fiddle. Akron with the Lilia. Okay, both junglers right at the gate. Not surprising. Jungle covering, controlling so much of the game flow for both teams. And both Fiddle and Lily are characters I feel like are never going to be terrible. Like, they're always going to be decent, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's only so much you can do about being at Mach 10 and full stunning the entire enemy team. I mean, it looks like uh, Post is going for more of a dive comp. It seems like between the Alawi and the Rakan, both char multiple characters you can just really chase if need be. And are actually very good at holding their ground if they have to. If Fiddle can yeah. like get eyes on a good engage, Ilawi and Rakan are great at following it up. Meanwhile, yeah. just pretty safe from Akron, I'd say. Naughty is nice and consistent crowd control. Caitlyn, a, a lot, lot of counter lot engage. Of damage. Yeah, a lot of damage from a mile away. Take a next wave of bands. Oriana and Kaisa knocked out by Akron. Post taking out Vagar and Nasus. I guess Post just wants to get the game out, of, out early because they don't want to deal with the you know infinite scaling teams. Yeah, not too surprised by that. Right. Cho'Gath. Cho yeah. There you go. Is <laughs> your rep. And now we're just missing the uh, mid laner, I guess. Got the Sandra and the MF locked in from post. Yeah, now Akron, all the pressure here. What do you lock in against the Sandra? A very safe pick. Another safe pick is here. Okay. A very safe pick into Lissandra. <laughs> Absolutely. Getting back over to the lobby. Looks like teams are ready to go. Here we go. Get to discuss everything we just saw. But yeah, pretty much exactly as we said earlier. Post is really looking at a more dive comp. Big damage uh, between the fiddle, the allow. The weak fear the shadows. The uh, Lissandra R or the Lissandra R onto the Zier, Caitlyn, and even the Lilia. Gonna... Uh, Lowered that a little bit. It's a little loud. Don't wanna, don't wanna completely blow you up. Yeah. You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm very interested to see, because like, the Lissandra pick is very safe, but it also has phenomenal CC follow-up. I, it is very important that Akron picked such a safe mid laner this year, because if it was anybody else, and if uh, Akron's mid doesn't play this right, yeah, Lissandra has such phenomenal gank setup for Fiddle 6. Even oh, Rakan, yeah. I, I highly doubt that Rakan is going to be sitting mid lane all game. Or sitting bot lane all game. No, that th that thing is going to be all over the map. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> I mean, that's how I would describe it. They, uh, you know, they're all, they're everywhere, no matter where they are. I just I do I do really like how safe Akron's team is. It has between the Lilia and Joe. Oh, like the Lilia, she's incredibly flexible. She could play back. She could engage. We have the naughty, get, insane 
like counter CC and counter A zero for counter CC, Cho'Gath, the massive Cho'Gath silent that's gonna be really helpful into this team. Yeah, both both very strong lineups for. for yeah. Right. Got the final wind down. Now we just gotta wait for this to go through. And we'll see how the team and we'll see how they play it out. A lot, a lot's been happening in league since last season, especially since the last ECAC covered game. Uh we have new champs. Uh I'll, well, the big one being Aurora, um, who is fully playable at this point. Uh, very strong. Um, a lot of the recent characters have been very, very powerful. Uh, Worlds is starting up soon. Well, it has already started up. It's in full force by this point. Um, yeah. Uh, I've, I haven't been keeping up with it too much yet. Uh, waiting till the end to really, like, get invested. But I've already heard there's some pretty good matches. I mean, T1 almost didn't make it, which would have been funny. Massive upset. Like, not even talking about, like, the irony of now we gotta wait for the three minutes spectator relation no cheating um not even talking about how like it retroactively funny it would have made the world song making like such a big deal out of t1 and t1 getting knocked out would have been a massive upset it already is pretty crazy that they did like who who did they face that they almost got knocked out by uh r1 i think it was okay which would have been Kind of funny, honestly. Oh no, they versus KT, yeah. Okay, nice. Damn, they barely qualified. In round one, they lost. <laughs> For their original qualifiers. Alright, <laughs> they're gonna... They really want Figure to get that next world spin. They're gonna have to work. They, they want them to have all the Hall of Legends skins, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, with Arcane Season 2 coming out in November, like, right before. Actually, yeah. I think I think the final episode, or the final, like, three episode batch drops right before our world starts. Yeah. Which, definitely intentional. Like, like that's just good planning. Oh, yeah. Very exciting. A whole lot of stuff going on for fans of League. And all that, you got the... The very goofy uh, community celebration skins. I mean, I like the new new one. I might honestly get that. Oh yeah, Fright Night as well. That's right. Yeah, because Halloween coming out as well. The Vagar, the Vagar skin is great. Oh yeah. The funniest little guy. And now, and we get to watch, you know, LCS suffer through worlds again. Anyway, so that's kind. Of, that's little, kind of the normal. True. Now that we have a little downtime uh, before we get neck deep in League of Legends, anybody see that Monster Hunter Wilds trailer? I need to shill. I have, I have to see that. <laughs> I need to shill my franchise wherever I can. <laughs> Anyway, play Monster Hunter. Okay. Give itself to load. Come on, League, you can do it. I think it's funny how this season T1 is almost ranked lower than um, NA teams. Which would have been, which is kind of funny. It is, it's a little funny. I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. All right. 
especially because you know our uh, our teams aren't the best. <laughs> hey, everyone's gonna make their splash at some point. I mean, yeah. Look at you with your zero with your zero MS. Lucky you. Locked in. Right, both teams load in. Make sure we get upper view of it. It is so funny. I there was a massive period last uh, last semester where I had streamed a lot more League than I played. So I tried to do, I was I felt claustrophobic playing League because I'm used to playing it from this like further out than you're allowed to in norms. Like oh. camera angle, so it's like I feel boxed in. This could be big. Oh actually. yeah. Okay. Take the poke. <laughs> Take the poke. No sums though, so it doesn't really do much. Never heard. So, wait, hold on. Does anybody have that first strike? Have that first strike? Can't see it. Uh, oh. no. Never mind. Just flea footwork. Yeah. You could just you could just click on the Caitlyn to check it as well. The the I, uh, the champion on the map, yeah. You know, I I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Saw you looking around for a second. Whoa! Ooh, a flash up top lane. Wait. No, it was the, it was the effigy. Oh, I was thought the effigy? I thought yeah, Lich yeah. panic flashed away from it for a second. And that's what I thought as well. And I had a heart. I I was like, whoa, what did we just miss? That <laughs> the value. <laughs> I mean, hey, I think he still gets, what, five gold for killing it? I think so, if he hit it. Yeah, I think if he hit it. Either team leashing. League names are fun. I always, esports names are so fun. We got the Bipolar Express versus Big Spence 99 in the top lane. <laughs> yeah, no. League names are the best. I will say, is that actually... I will say, in my opinion, they are beat out by, um, uh, fighting game names. That's true, yeah. Fighting game I can't games. wait to see the, I can't wait to see the 2KO, um, or 2XKO, uh, names that people come up with. Oh, yeah. In my heart of hearts, it will always be known as Project Dell, because I just feel like that's a better name for it, but. Oh, no, it is. 2XKO is fine. I, I, I guess. There we go. That. Overlay was blocking the very helpful uh, League UI, so we got names and logo. Actually, if we just went with the logos, that looks pretty good. Oh, I'm good. There you go. Team logos above each team. We got Acker on, on uh, red side. She won't blue. I feel like it's going to be a very slow early game until one oh, team misplays. Absolutely. No, oh. Yeah, this is going to be both teams waiting for something to happen and pouncing on the other guy. Yeah. Some good poke from Zemi. Not overextending. Just Especially. the B-fest of the fight top lane is always going to be you've just got, fun got, to look at. You've got the Cho'Gath experience. How is the Cho'Gath uh, Ilawi matchup? Oh, it is painful. Yeah, I figured. Bipolar Express, playing the smart, playing it. You gotta play it nice and safe. You, you, you just sit back and you just exist. Luckily, and you wait. Cho, Cho does have a lot of range. I'll do this too. Oh, yeah. He's got the and this sustain is what he excels with. <laughs> oh, yeah. All in getting the early back open to make it before, you know. Open to make it back before the wave crashes. Durin coming in. Kind of threatening the gank here. Kel moves in. Ryu. But he gets the fear on Lich Soul. Something crazy happening. Kel does flash. A pretty big get for Akron this early. Oh, yeah, him. especially. Well, Sandra doesn't need her flash too much, though, so it's not too much. True. Yeah, her little flash are... would have been a lot better. Whole lot of mobility. It, I mean, can't say no to. Getting a flash push, regardless. Yoinking a sum. Bot lane not look like they're gonna miss anything. Yeah, On Akron's nice. side. Gurn gets a nice back off it. 
Crazy. And his forces are uh, supposed to stay in lane. I you you know bipolar wants to walk up for the grass, but it's just fighting demons. That little shimmy, that's what that told me. It's like no, no, it's gonna it's not worth it. I want I want the grass stack, but like I want the five max health, but I'll lose so much more. First Drake that, is that's exactly That's exactly the thought that he has. From experience. <laughs> At least gives them a nice little bit of poke. Dragon finally spawned though, so that should make some waves on the map. Yep. First straight gonna be Hex straight. No Hexel in this game. I, mean, I don't think Hexel is really good for either team though. For bait, for the attacks be part of it at least. Yeah. I mean, I, I, nice, think, I think post you actually really would have loved the the slow from the lightning. Oh yeah, with all their s slows and all, all their chase already. Oh, yeah. And all they're slow. Actually, if I pull against some great poke, this is a big opportunity here. Just very, very hey, careful. Oh, that sucks. That's going to be a good chunk of health gain back for Big Spence. I mean, Bipolar's uh, getting a lot of damage off. I'm trying to challenge it. PU is there for the Void Grubs. Ooh. And now Lala gets all our health back. First blood, Zemi manages to secure a pick on Black Rose. Meanwhile, Bipolar trying to chase PU off the. Ooh, these are all gonna die at the same time. Oh. The shield, Bipolar is surrounded. There's big knock up. Might be able to. Get oh, gonna get the ult off though. Oh my gosh, tentacles. Bipolar takes. I think that's a death. Damage. I think that's gonna be a death on Choga. Nice knock up. Oh, the and Q. The silence. And the Dragons silence. Stall for as much time as possible. The shield's on the way, trying to cover his teammate. Bipolar and he's gonna get it. to get out. That's insane. Beautiful. That's like uh, perfectly, a... perfectly played. Good rotate by Lich Souls. Oh yeah. I don't know how hard it is to play as here because <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> very difficult. Very rewarding character. Very rewarding. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah. First kill, only kill so far. Falling into the pockets of Zemi. Giving, giving that first blood to Kaelin is going to put Post to use, a lot of gold in their pocket. Yeah, Post use bot in a very bad spot if they don't play this careful. And it's true, they just now they just don't have the kill pile from Ignite though. So if they want to get a kill back, now's the time. Supporters of both schools signing. Signing off on chat. That's always fun to see. Oh yeah. Gotta let him know. Is he? Let's still get that deep control ward. First kill TP back. Again, it's it's back to the calm. Nobody's calm pulled out of their fight. hole until his objectives pop. But PU, ooh, going for a really. Nasty lane gank here if you can get it off. That control ward in that bush. I don't know if Zemi Luck will know. Ooh! Ah, Zemi they had an know. idea. Tried to check the bush, force the flash out. But it's not enough damage. Here comes Durin. He now he's looking for the kill. Oh. The it's sleep? He's slept. This could be big. Knock the Nautilus ult coming out. And Zemi gets another kill. Again, yeah, that gold falling into Zemi's pockets is rough just bringing up Akra's kill pressure more and more making that mid game on Caitlyn just a little bit better I mean if she could if she can get over the hump the faster she gets over it the faster that uh Akra might just be able to close this out oh yeah cuz Caitlyn mid game little little rough Very well done CC by Bipolar and the patience to not overextend here. Oh. Saintly. <laughs> and back to the little fight and back to the just the basic flat fest top lane. Wait, Zemi really playing forward still. Eotoxin and Black Rose neither have ulti. Oh, Black just managed to get it. Expense finds a soul. Bipolar, give extra sustain. 
Just get that bit of health back. I think Bipolar just waiting for uh, Express to run out of Or no, Bipolar is waiting for uh, Spence to run out of mana. As Lockable calls out, Rubs are almost back up. They're considering a back to try and help out with it. I want to push this first. Both Neon and Black Rose trying to back. Neon manages to. Black Rose. That's definitely at least a play for Zemi. At least might, one. You might greed for two. Ooh, Zemi's gonna. Lockable's backy I think, off. I think they'll make it in time. They have a they had the full wave there. Oh yeah. The grubs are up. Already we see Dissident getting forced off by Lich Souls. You want on the top side, big gank. Well is also there. And Lich has no wave push, so they have the chance. I think that just might be Grubs or... Akron. Yeah, Akron. Putting it 3-3 three, three if they can get all three of these. Neither team getting the, uh, the Void Links. Both teams getting some extra tower damage. Kel's in a very awkward spot here. Spotted by the control ward. Bulls moving over to Dragon, up in 15. But that Kaylee can be put in work though with the extra gold that she's gotten. You're gonna let force him off that control, just har harassing distant. Just complete vision control from Akron. Got, got to take the time to get rid of these. I think Finn was gonna look for a nice ult here. Yep, here it comes. Oh, barely doesn't catch Akron. Tries to flash in to get something out of it. And that's 300 gold up. for Lich Souls. And Dragon for Akron. Holy ball misses. Yeah, that's just a, another Dragon. Extra gold in. Akron's pockets can make it harder and harder for post shoot to close this gap. Nearly a five, nearly a five k gold gap as well, which is gonna be rough to close that back. Very, very difficult to pull back from. <sighs> Go with a kill top lane. I think a failed die from <laughs> Malawi. Amongst all the chaos of that dragon fight, we completely missed. Yeah, a solo kill on bipolar. Just, just look at this this mission control. Something happened here. All the wards. I thought it was the little gentleman Poro. Would have been better Poro, honestly. Again, Akron is a no rush here. They can keep with how safe their comp is, with how much gold they're getting on their carries. They can just play this safe, play for objectives, and just, just run snowball. away with these team fights. Most teams gonna have to do something. They have to make a play here. They have to get, a, they have to get one really good team fight to close this back. That's all on Akron giving them the opportunity. And not having a vision for a fiddle. Right. Which they, they've, if that dragon fight should anything, they're very, very much acknowledging, yeah, we don't want to risk that happening. And they know that's what's going to mess them up. It could have, it's so unfortunate though, if Dissident had been a little further up, like, I think they had tried it around here, they may have been able to get the fear off on a few people. They just barely or, whiffed. Or if it had flash, because I, I do he, know that if you flash, flash quick enough. No, he did, but yeah, it didn't get the fear. Because he was, he was just out of vision. Auto-fucated so much. Here's Dissident. Just a little bit of Q damage off. Walkable just... <sighs> Trying to retain that vision control. Oh, half, here, half here of his torch's health bar gone but instantly. they saw him! Still a lot of damage against that MF ulti. Here's the Recon. Quickness. Lockable's down. Dissident getting a kill? I think that's gonna be a kill. Jordan gets this in. Zemi's still alive! Zemi's alive somehow! Taking out While Neotoxin. picking up a kill. Oh, he had a trap. That's a double kill for Zemi. Just beautifully played by Akron. 
Durin was there, ready to rotate the counter gank. Again, just <laughs> Dissident is barely missing these, just undershooting them. The Meanwhile, mid lane, the <laughs> Lich <laughs> pulling, ripping Kel away from that tower. Securing a kill of his own. First tower going to Zemi. And a solo kill going on the tower as well. You know, Akron is just absolutely dominating here. Very dominant lead. I think next game we might be seeing a Caitlyn ban. Komodo high. I don't know why this lane is so easy for Express. I struggle in this lane. <laughs> a bipolar clearly has a lot of experience in this matchup. And with Cho'Gath in general. It seems like, at least. Oh, yeah. Did Mitch and the gold gap gets bigger. Right? Everyone on Akron's side rotate to secure this rift. Yeah, they are, they are just locking down every objective they possibly can. They're getting this rift, then in 50 seconds, they're going to sprint back down bot side for that dragon. And Lich is going to hold bot lane, so Misfortune and them can't get back in the game. It is just, this is a dominating presence. And now they're all running back mid lane. Black Rose on the back. Bowman ball misses. I think they're gonna get mid lane with this Rift Herald as well. It's like it. New Toxin gonna pop the ult just to clear that wave. Um. And then. Uh... Zemi tried to charge Shelly, but I think they instantly bonked the wall there. Accidents happen. Oh my god, just they oh, coming in the fiddle insane ult. fiddle ulti. And a kill on Zemi. That's a big shutdown. There's the sleep on this on Durin. Getting a triple knockup from Lockable. But nobody to follow it up. That's a kill on Zim. Wow, the burn from Ignite and from just Lily's passive managing to get turned into a one for one. But that how big was that shutdown? That was seven hundred gold for the fiddle. That's gonna be big. I don't know how he missed that fiddle right there. Oh my god. I mean I, that's I, I I bet you that's exactly what Akron is saying. How did we miss him? How did we not see him coming? You take your eyes off for a second. It's, it's like a good horror movie. You take your eyes away for a second. I mean, whenever I play Fiddle, I, I play. I like playing the birthday one. And I just go, happy birthday, then I ult. Yeah. I think that was a Ross Boomsock video. Where he yeah. literally, yeah, just all goes, happy birthday. happy birthday every time he ulted in. Zemi looking at 1v1 Neon here. Oh, that's gonna be a top tower for Akron as well. Serious damage. Meanwhile, <laughs> Lich is pushing bot side here. Very Oh, just down. missing the trap. And Zemi taking half of Misfortune's health bar. Like Rose Big Spence pushing that top lane. Continuing to harass. I can look at this tower. Middle is moving up. The tower's gone. And the bowling ball. Flash from Misfortune. Ooh, the Ooh again. another kill on Zemi. And Barrier out. Zemi's getting a little too comfortable here. See, both of these last deaths. That bowling ball was crazy. That almost landed. Both of these deaths have just kind of been from a bit of overextension. I was wondering what the misfortune ult was for, but I, I guess now I, I realized. I mean, I'll say, better better than just sitting on the cooldown, Neon is using it a, a lot of ways. Clear the wave, get some extra damage down on a uh, ulti from... This is misfortune. It. And get the, just the combo ult. Kelp really getting shoved in now. Yeah, big, by the way, in the meanwhile, Black Rose and Big Spence getting rotated on. There's the 
beautiful double fear into the stun. Black Rose tries to flash away, but it's not far enough. Lockable gets the knock up. Trying to get the auto off. Back off. But it's not gonna be enough. Lich still pushing that bot wave. Really wants this tower. It's on the way though. Smart Maybe we'll see back. another ult. I wonder, are they immediately gonna go for Baron? They're setting up for it. They they're are. Really no, they're just doing it. it. Alright. Akron wants this game done. They, uh, they do. I think they think they have enough of a lead. I, I guess. Expense though. Expense and Lich both pushing separate lanes, trying to get eyes on. <laughs> trying to get eyes on Lich souls. Polar backing off. Don't spot him, but it's too little, too late. Uh, and that solo going for a top tower for uh, Bipolar. The TP for security, that's gonna be Asher or Akron. And the gold lead grows to 9,000. Post use losing their opening to turn this around. All, honestly, all Akron needs here is one big fight win and it could absolutely just be game. Just take that top and take, take the top and mid and him her, her permanently lock at least two of them into base constantly. This didn't look here. I think Azir realized what Miss Fortune's mistake was and he put set that tower up. Yeah. You know, Azir can threaten from a lot further away. Like we said just a very safe comp. Down. There it is. It's sold. Yeah, not enough. Shut not does, enough. Does manage to spook Neon into popping barrier. That's another shutdown for Fiddle. I think Fiddle is either main or in this game. One v twos, killing Big Spence. Time to be mean, Billia. Kel half health, walking right into Lockham. And Kel is gone. Got no vision. Oh. Jungle. There's the Sandra ults, but nah. And Zavi picks up another kill. And seconds, and that's very solid. Be going to be, yeah, Ocean Soul for Akron, making it even harder to kill them in these team fights. Wow, just did it smite the the uh, the crop. It's not the Shogat from getting it. That's petty. But also understandable. He's just gonna, he's, and he's just gonna sit there and wait. Is Fortune taking some damage from Zemi, but... Can heal right off, off, off that Ocean Soul now. Eckridge using the last of this Nasher push for as many picks as they can. It's spotted. They really don't want another Fiddlesticks ult to come out uh, again. Nah. They, they had they had great it great vision control for that first fight. Started slipping in the midpoint. Don't want to make that same mistake. Especially when victory is right over the horizon. Here it comes. That is a fear. Beautiful into a three man MF ult. As it finishes off Zemi. My Polar and Lich are both set running. Looks like Nixon's trying to get away as well. Bowling ball misses. And that's gonna be just gonna be one for one. That's oh, no, one, one for, for none, actually. Beautiful stuff from Post U. They've got these alt chains down. Okay, play careful though. Akron has a lot of kill pressure here. They get their opening. Ain't a lot more gold in their pockets. Oh yeah, just a lot of power through these items. Show. 
jumping dissident. It's gonna try and get away. That fear lasts so long, but it's still not enough. Still not enough with the amount of mobility as your gets. It always, Leandro's keeping the vision on him. It almost feels like there's a connection issue sometimes when it comes to Fiddle Fear. Like, that Q has you running for so long. <laughs> Unless you're, you're the one using it. Then it doesn't. Then it lasts for like half a second. <laughs> Jungle. Akron gonna try and push this advantage. I'm surprised we're caught up in levels over the... Big hook. Dissident ults in, only catches lockable. Are gonna secure that pick. That's all they need, that's one kill, that's one person dead. And that's a TV from Malawi? Like it, big Spence on the field. And it was only like a three second run though. Coming from their one tower. Yeah, they're trying for some poke. The the Shogun, I think, is just gonna try and take the tower. All that beef. Yeah. It's too. And no Durant's tempted to pop that all. Still, damage alone from E is enough. Baron is coming up in two. Akron's gonna burst him down again. Probably look to just end this outright. Too bad Fiddle's a base and can't make a play for it. Yeah, there's nothing that most you can really do here. Wait, is Fiddle gonna go for it? Oh no. Too late. No chance to. At this point, there's just too much damage on Akron's side. And really, post you, right now, the discussions have to be about what needs to change. No reason to beat yourself up about this game. You just gotta talk about like what needs to go different next game. I think Dissident's gonna have to make a bit more of a presence early. And I'm fully expecting this K to get banned. I'm sure, we don't know the reasons behind. Those, to be fair, very confident bans from the first from this first game. Um, but I, I'm I'm expecting a bit of a shakeup. Ooh, big ult. Neon takes. That's gonna be another kill on Zemi. But is it going to be enough? It does not no, seem like it. And that's, and that's four dead. Triple kill for his ear. So much damage. And that's absolutely going to be it. 30 seconds. 40 seconds, actually, yeah. I think they just aim to end here. I don't think they aim to. I think they just end. Oh, Choga still has the Maj. Yeah, that's over. Just like that, with a very dominating start. After this, after this quick Sharima shuffle, Akron will take game one over post you. Putting them comfortable 1-0. It's far from over. Now it's time for that mental reset post you. And see if they can bring it back for a 2-0 sweep. A 2-0 reverse sweep, I guess. <laughs> Also, by the way, you still have Black Ops 3 in the stream title. That's best of three, dog. Oh, best of three. Oh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We stream yeah, we're, we're streaming some Black Ops 3, folks. I, 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 I've been playing a little bit too much of that recently. Yeah, you're good. I was looking them like, Black Ops 3? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just cut that part out. Yeah, yeah, hey, editor.
Editor, editor, Shh, cut that out. Oh, what are they saying in the chat? That Black Ops Three. Oh. Yeah, cause I'm a I'm a little dumb. Oops. You guys didn't hear that. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, the proper acronym is Blops. I think we're ready for draft, right? Uh, I think we are, as soon as we can get the, uh, I actually, they may have dropped the link to Discord like this. Let's go find out. Oh, yep, it's in there. Let's get this new one open. One sec, folks. No. Now we wait. And wait and wait some more. Seems like post use ready. Like I said, I'm I'm fully expecting that uh that Caitlyn get banned. All it took was one kill for Zemi to just run away with it. And now we wait and wait <laughs> and wait some more. Too long. Acra just basking in the, the victory a little bit. All right. Oh, Ben's going through already. Yeah, yeah. We again look away for two seconds and boom, 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 boom. Looks like only mix up of the bands. <laughs> so post you ban the Lilia and Azir, and then immediately lock in the Kate. That's crazy. I mean, I respect if you can't beat that. them. Join them. <laughs> yeah, Neon's like, nah, the gloves are off. I could lock it in the bomb. <laughs> Very fun sport. Effective sport. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they're going for Fredge Lord. Fredge Lord? Fred Lord. Same. You know what I meant. Frelior. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I've stuttered on my words for a, a little bit. Okay. Ah, fuck my. Your oh, my okay. Fell over. My bad. My bad. Good. <laughs> I I tripped and my chair fell over. Oh jeez, are you right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I'm. Good. <laughs> Yeah, Freljord bot lane, Nessus in the top lane looks like. Viego, very fun, and a Morgana. Akron really likes the, Akron seems to really like these scaling top laners. Here's the thing though. That could totally be a Nessus mid. And I think post you have to consider that. Oh, um, I didn't think about that. I could absolutely that's a that's a really nice flicks pick right now. Because Nessus mid is very strong. It's rare, but it could also be Nasus jungle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We'll have to see the rest of the picture of Akron. Knocking out the little Sandra this time. Okay. Post you. I don't think they really struggle with it, though. Post you banking on Nasus being top lane, banning Ari and a Nefiri. Shiv. Devon and jungle. Or top, we don't know. Seraphine mid. Oh. Once again, lock it in. The hover on the Alawi, at least, for post two. Confident lock, lock in for Big Spence here. Considering it didn't go super well last game. Not as confident, though. Still still hovering. Still thinking about it. Really want to play that into an Asus? Is it even an Asus top? Ooh. Tom. And LeBlanc. It is an Asus top. Okay. Hey, 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 it could, it could be 80 LeBlanc top lane. You don't know. True. It's like big, big Spence going a bit beefier this game with Tom. However, the LeBlanc might see its shift here. Fridge Lord. It's a brand. Okay. A double mage mid lane. You know, I think it's totally going to be like Shivana top lane, Brand jungle, Bra mid yeah, lane, get, and Nasus support. Let's get weird with it. I mean, if I see that in my if I see that in my game, I'm I'm going to be a little. I'm leaving. I'm going to be confused. All right. Akron is ready, waiting for the AOK -okay on post U. Meanwhile, folks, oh, wait. If you liked your scene, if you want to support ECAC a bit more, and, you know, you just want to catch more streams of your school, the rest of the league meeting, we have here our stream schedule for the. Oh, that's a little. Ah, didn't. There we go. Stream schedule for ECAC weekly. We have our primary games that will always happen every week on our main channel. Between Apex, Valorant, Rocket League on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Overwatch, and Fridays, League of Legends. Then, as the season goes, also try and run some secondary matches. The weak fear the on shadows. On our secondary channels. Fear controls Siege them. on Monday. Uh, CS on Wednesday, Fortnite on Thursday, and Friday, finishing up with COD. Not Black Ops 3, but, you know, the most Damn. recent COD. I do not yeah. If you want to support us some more, if you want to keep up with how everybody's doing in the ECAC League, here's where you'll find us, right here on ECAC Esports, on YouTube and Twitch. Don't be a stranger, but... Oh! There was a draft error, it looks like. Oh. May have been an incorrect ban. Take two. <laughs> you ready now? Blue on our side. Oh, they didn't switch sides. Oh, 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 jeez. It 
could be a side swapper. Ah, league client. <laughs> All good. Take those. The weak fear the shadows. Fear controls them. I so what I like from powers. post use picks here, they've got a bit more beef. They've got a lot of a lot of safety again. They they have the Caitlyn now. Seraphine also very long range. Tom is so hard to cut through. Uh, and Morgana, just with with Soul Shield, gives a lot. And her, of freedom. Shall return. And her Q. It's, oh yeah, it's annoying. We all know this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you get hit by that, Morgana unplugs your mouse. But like, just and you just... get an AFK warning. Exactly. Um, Akron a bit more aggressive this time, I'll say. Between the Shivana and the Brand, they they they're feeling themselves a bit from last game. This is a whole lineup of characters who could. Akron has four win conditions in this lineup, like. Ash could run away with it. Nasus could run away with it. Brand, Shivana could. Post is gonna. Well, Nasus will run away with it. Eventually, Ex eventually right? Acro or Post is gonna need to play a very safe game. Yeah, yeah. Especially if Shivana gets to be left alone. With that reason, Shivana built. I like. <laughs> Shivana, once you give her about? any kind of AP, just. Raises the entire battlefield. I mean, I've always built her AP because, you know, funny one shot dragon. Yeah, but here's the thing the most recent build for her, if I remember right, if it's still what this is. Is you rush uh, Leandri's into Spear of Shojin, and yeah. it's just Ew. terrifying. Like, like Ew, but do... Leandri's is so bad on her. Well, it's so it's for any kind of AP and health, and then with Spear of Shojin, again the stats on her are decent, and it's the stacking spell buff. Like, any time you I mean, cast a spell, you do more damage. It makes her ease hit so hard. Okay, well, hear me out. Oh, it's Why do you need extra spell? Okay. Why, why do you need extra spell damage when uh, they die in one hit? Well, you they only die in one hit because you get extra spell damage. I mean, I personally like the Nashers into... Uh, I like the Nashers into Storm Surge, Shadow Flame... You don't need boots. Your W gives you enough movement speed. <laughs> right. Again, post you is going to be forced to make plays here. They've got they've got nice scaling with Caitlyn and Seraphine, but it's that Viego. Viego really wants an opening. It's gonna be up. Viego is only as good as as the enemy team is fed. <laughs> yeah, fire and ice. A very elemental comp from Akron, and then the dog. I don't know. I don't know how NASA slots in, but sand. I guess Earth. And all they need is, like, what? Janna and Kennen to get all the elements? That's too many people. You know, just... Just all kinds of rage. Or, range. Siobhan is the one with the rage. The rage on post you side. Yeah, fully expect you Siobhan to just hide in the jungle for the first, like, 10 minutes of the game power farming. Going up for dragon at level 4 if they don't forget to ward it. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, but uh, Akron's going to have to play without expecting any ganks. To be fair, all their champs are pretty safe on that front. Well, we can only see how it goes. Got another three minutes. Three seconds before the start. Oh. oh. Um, it said thirty seconds to go, but it looks like we're we're. Ren. All right. Uh, your stream ended for me on my end. Oh, my bad. Yeah, no, sometimes the client will just end. and Because it's a it different better. client than the game, so it's a whole... Yeah, technically it's different. My bad, friend. You'll need this. The game, the game says no. I mean, it makes sense. Technically, it's two separate programs, but... Because Riot doesn't have dedicated servers on the same thing as their client. But sure, let's go with that. <laughs> no, they I really don't. They, so they, run, they, they run two different uh, servers. They have a server for their client, and they have a completely different server for their actual games. That's crazy. I did not know that. Yeah. I don't know why. They can't just put them on the same client like what? everyone what else sh does. What shift skit is that? What? Uh, what iron, is so Ironclad. Or Iron Warrior or something like that. They, they've it's, got it's, they've yeah. got to give Shiv her ASU. She would look so good. Look at Teemo. I was gonna say we didn't mention it. Teemo's ASU came out like a couple Did days it? ago. I don't know if it's Which out. Point? No, no, no. It's not out. It's coming out with the uh, the anniversary skins. But it's coming out, and he looks great. Give it to Shiv, please. She needs it. <laughs> She's gotten. I don't know if you knew this. She's gotten second place in every single ASU poll. Oh yeah. Like, always the bridesmaid, never the bride type deal. I don't know why they give it to Teemo. Like, come on. No, no one wants fair, the first Teemo. To be fair, Teemo looks like a, an uncoded, like, sack boy. That's true, but now giving them an ASU, we have to fight more Teemos. Then I feel that point. Lockable, get kind of cheeky here. Does get the auto. And they get the stun. They are. Does go Q first. It's a very good half damage. Trade for both. Neon takes a bit more damage. Lockable. Zemi is also tagged a bit. Wow, mid lane. It's a very aggressive standing from both mid laners. Top sides. Nice top lane. Top, top lane is as slow as our rank games. Dog versus fish. Who will win? Beautiful, beautiful spacing from Cal. No, and and from Lich. All right. Well, these mid laners clearly know what they're doing. Although I feel you can say that for about a... everybody in this game. I know for a fact I'm eating that Seraphine too. Oh yeah. Nice deep war. Cal. Ooh, Kel not getting that cannon, that hurts a little bit. Kel's gotta get it. Ah, oh, Spence not getting that cannon hurts a little bit. They might be allergic to cannons, honestly. You can't deal with the sulfur. Some tense lanes. <laughs> Except for top lane. Big Spence went for the movement read there. Nice early back for, for Neon and Black. Let's do a great job getting as much poke as possible. 
the pings to try to get on distant. It's a nice Q. Low hit. Yeah. With double melee, not going to have any chance to actually get the proper stun. But good pressure before the dragon comes up in a minute. Did Lich, miss, did, did Lich miss the cannon again? <laughs> they may have. I didn't hear the. I didn't hear the gold ping. Is Cal gonna get it this time though? Nope. Oh wait, no. no they, Cal got they, it. They did. They did. Good damage from Lich though. Get a bit pokey. Lich is absolutely looking for a kill here. 30% of the way to ult. Oh, that would oh. that that very well easily. Hey, think of that Q hit, Lich would have flash E. Oh, 100 percent Oh no, the last second back cancel. That's just mean. <laughs> Uh, Akron bot still pushing as much as they can. Oh, see if we can get the back off this time. She's gonna go for it too, though. Wave is slow pushing into him. Pretty nice spot. Oh, now it's gonna hard push into him with that mi minion suit killing. It's dying itself, I guess. Huh? Did force kill the pop TP. They're in pretty uncontested here for this Drake. Right where I want Good damage. Ooh. Nah, I can't get that Brom stun. That means too low. That is first Drake for Durin and Akron. Is it gonna try and pay in kind? Go for rubs. There's, there's no way Bipolar could rotate for this. Unless somebody else. Oh, yeah, no. First. Oh, Brand's coming. Oh, yeah, shiv. and here's Bipolar. If he can get that Wither, oh no. Here's the Lich with the ult. No Vincent though. Bipolar's gonna flash for it. And that's first blood, six and a half minutes in. Whole lot of knockups from Big Spence, but I I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know no, if I don't that think he should have been there. The rotate was a good idea, but once... Nah, once Dissident died, it was time to hightail it. That is... Kill on both solo lanes for Akron. Two characters that you do not want to let scale any faster than normal. Oh. Very nice skill shots coming out from Lich Soul. And the cannon this time. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Layton. I've only played the game of yours with, with Phoenix Wright in it, but I appreciate that tip. Did somebody in chat just help out with the... Uh... A lot of observer tools have funky controls. Leagues are weird. And Akron has a lead, but still playing safe to not lose. I wish my rank teammates were that smart. Zemi does have ult though. A lot of yeah, but they're too close to tower though. Yeah, but Zemi might be looking on the rest of the map. The way they're backing off, I feel like they were eyeing top lane. Oh. W hits. Trying to, you can tell they're trying to bait out the E. If they can get Black Rose's soul shield, or black shield, they might not even need it. There it is, the flash. Durin is here. Oh, the ulti, Zemi wants more. Gets They're not gonna get it though. I mean, 
I definitely say an ult is worth a barrier and a flash. Oh no, for sure. Double subs from Neon. I, I, I just don't know if the flash was necessary though there. I think she was out. Back off. Awkward spot. Is it going around? Does have ulti in both subs. Think they're gonna get out. That hit. Or not. Hurt. Flashes away from the Seraphine. I think Seraphine honestly gonna ulted that right there with the uh, with her massive ult range they gave her now. Yeah. If she if she had matched the flash, absolutely. Oh yeah, we we don't worry. We've already got the uh the further zoom out. My, <laughs> see, Tissonet trying to run top lane to help out Big Spence, but my puller already had his number. Bunk. Let's see, how many stacks we at now? Already 156 from Bipolar, not even 10 minutes. That's pretty much average, I think, right? Probably. Or is the average technically, or is the most you could technically get 300? That's a great question. I I do not play top lane. I don't play enough Nasus. I play Mordekaiser to deal with Nasus. Drake up in 35. Is it moving into Durin's jungle? But Durin rage is right there. Moving in on Dissident. Slips on this here. The ult, the E. No, no, Dissident is not getting away. Neither is Kel. And both, of, and both the mid and jungle pick up a kill. And rubs. Come on, Tom. You, you know what happened last time. Big, uh, what, what's going on, Spence? Trying to move in. I don't know what he's going for here. He's alone against me. I guess just didn't a Durin picks up another kill. Were there. Yeah, just gonna wind the go gap. back to the grub. Nice sidestep by Zemi. Finding goes down. Ult comes out. And that's a kill, I think. Yeah, that ignite's gonna take it. Again, just beautifully played by Akron. And Akron pushes the, the gold lead to 7k. Got grubs. Well, actually, I can't. It doesn't seem like it shows its picture until how many grubs your team has. Because they definitely have uh, really it, it, it on top. On the scoreboard. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a that's a new icon. I didn't I never noticed that. Uh if you can't tell, grubs were also added during the whole summer season between when I was casting. So But yeah, five grubs on uh on Akron's Akron's side. side. That's so much more tower pressure. Especially with their team with the Nasus. Oh yeah. I mean, they have enough range, like, literally just even walking up and autoing for the burn and the void links. And the most average top lane ever. Just it looks like he's trying to round again. Is spotted on vision. Playing safe, playing back. Two dragons are ready for Acra. Trying to do some baiting here. here comes Durin. Just moving in, gets the stun. There's the Seraphine ult on which he's down. But the burn finishes off Kel. Durin is here trying to burst down distant. Misses the E. That's bad. Trying to get away. And she's going to get out. Going back in to hit the E. Ooh. Serious damage. Meanwhile, Bipolar gets another solo kill topside. We've just been ignoring top lane. It, 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 it always breaks out at the same time. But I mean, Top is an island, so makes sense. I 
yeah, Neon is not gonna let me use this first strike at all. Not so bad. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. The boy got it back and they might be looking for a kill here. If they see it, yeah, she's gone. They definitely spotted that. No black shield, no way out. There goes barrier and there's a stun. I don't know about that flash, Neon. Oh, top side. Bipolar field himself. Pops the install. Chasing Spence. But here come Kel and Dissident. Bipolar trying to get out. Oh no! Spence missed the stun. That one doesn't. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> Bipolar gets the clap. Tries to get away. Comes out to secure the kill. But there isn't enough. But I'd say Bipolar Sacrifice is worth it. That is a tower, bot side, and Rift Herald. And they went one for one. <laughs> I that Q did so much damage to Dissident. Just boom. Don't let Neon near don't let Neon near this Rift Herald. <laughs> don't let Zemi near it, I guess you say. Now they're just gonna let Shelly get her charge up on her own. I think the Rift Herald is so buggy because it uses Nunu as like it probably yeah, shares it. some of the charge coding snowball. So it, it it messes up a little bit. Red things just let's soul dealing great poke. Like versus half. Post you forced on the back foot their own jungle. And the vision control goes to Akron again. Luckable is so deep in post you jungle. Just dominating the vision. Ah, uh, but thanks to the chemsole, that f that plant's gonna make it a lot easier for clear up the jungle. Extracted. Up in 40. Akron already trying to set up for it. Still trying to run. That W doesn't quite hit. Neither does the root from Seraphine. Here comes Durin. A big E. Well, it's distracting. Lich Soul. Brandle comes, comes out. back in. Nice double charm. But Lockable is here right on top of Kel. Zemi has solo killed Neon in mid lane. Bipolar chases down Tom as Lockable batters down Kel. Beautifully played. It's gonna be a very, very free dragon for, for Akron with a 12k gold lead. That's a oh no, and Bipolar is just harassing. Not gonna overextend. This is my jungle now. And I am a scary Nastus. Come fight me. There is a very big dog in the top lane. He doesn't bite, I promise. He hits you with a hammer. Or an axe? Whatever that is. Looks like a bit of both. Some kind of staff. Hammer. Hitting object. Objective Nasher up in two minutes. I think Akron's just gonna keep harassing as much as they can here. Keeping their HP low and keeping them in base. Stalling, buying time till that objective where I really don't know if Poshu's gonna be able to challenge at all. Zemi's just walking topside. There's the stun. Big Spence isn't gonna be able to get away. Another Zemi kill. picked up another kill. Four gold in Zemi's pocket. Lich Souls kind of being chased by Neon the Distant here. They're going to go for it. But he has ulti. Gets the stun on Dissident. Both ults on him, but he's completely fine. Here comes Bipolar. The Wither on oh, Dissident. The wither. You're not getting away. He's down. And Bonk throws the dog. Like Rose is here. Try and cover.
A beautiful TP from Bipolar. Bring him and Lich Soul even more gold. And plenty more stacks thanks to this this Krug. Look at the look at the KDs on Akron side. Seven one two, three zero and six, three one and seven, three zero three. Honestly, uh, Lich and Lich and Bipolar are kind of throwing the perfect game, if you tell me. <laughs> I think I think Bipolar has more than made up for the one death. Those seven kills. Let's see. Let's see that number. Three hundred eighty-one stacks. Oh no. Oh, Akron oh no, won the a death very voice. free Baron. Hoping to catch somebody out wandering. Rock. Spence and Black Rose walking up. Uh, they're positioning for it, but I really don't know if they have the damage for this. Let's solo alone. Back has the already there it is. In and there comes. goes the Brandel. Brandel T in jumps. Lock and bolt. So much damage coming out between Semi and Lynch. It just doesn't matter. Durin doesn't have to even back off from Nasher. He just keeps punching it while his team clears the way. Neon is trying something here, but it is too little too late. That's an ace for Akron. And a bipolar is just sieging Botley by himself. He's just hanging out, doing his own thing. His own thing is burning your house down. <laughs> like this, this... If they commit, this could be game. Like, I don't, I don't know if these three can kill bipolar. He's gonna make the smart call and back off. And I wonder what he's backing on. Oh. He might not die anymore. Yeah, I got the jack show. 40 seconds for this dragon. As either, well as the anti -anti -heal on, either on post you side. try and fight this and get wiped. Or they just give it. And then Akron runs them down with Kemsol. Like, if this is a lose-lose situation, we are looking at a 19k gold lead. It, it is going to take an absolute big. miracle play from opposed to you. And they might have it in them. Turn is just waiting it out. Bipolar is going to keep pressuring topside. He does not need to be there for this. Honestly, but nowhere to go. It looks like Bipolar is going to try to run the gauntlet. They're going to get some four, pops the install. There's so much ult, so much CC. Can he get the Q? Trying to keep up. Almost manages to take out Dissident. But I don't think the TP from uh, Tom was necessary there. No. Against all five, it's not enough. However, this Chem Soul and, and the four remaining members of Akra should absolutely be enough. Oh, by far. Um, He's got a protect thing. Spence? Spencer? Tried for something. That E from Jermaine did so much. Got the Rift Maker. That's... Oh, no! He's just playing the Siege game. Oh. Missed all by... Uh... Oh, but that knockup does. Lockable takes down one. Jermaine runs out of true form. There's the TP from Bipolar. As and if that's this gonna be game. needed another nail, that is game. A clean 2-0 for Akron Esports. Beautiful stuff. I will say, very well played for both both teams, especially early on. Post, you had a lot of potential here. Oh, Just, no, by far. Akron, Akron was much quicker to leap on there. Overall, great set. And... Folks, to everyone who decides to tune in, 
everybody who played tonight for it, and everyone who might be watching after on YouTube, where I find any of these VODs that you might miss that you want to catch up on. Folks, this has been ECAC Sports. My name is Mike Manning. I've been joined today by... I'm Steve. Thank you very much for joining. Folks, like we said, you'll be able to catch us all throughout the week next week on our schedule right here. So if you want to catch Apex starting up next week, uh, Valorant on Tuesday, Rocket League on Wednesday, Overwatch on Thursday, or another match of League next Friday, find us. Folks, be safe, be good to each other. Have a fantastic night.